China's got a big problem. Lots of empty houses and new cities sitting around. It's a bit of a puzzle. These places are called ghost cities, and they're not like the ghost towns in Western movies. These are new cities with tall buildings, but not many folks live in them. Some have been emptying for quite a while. These ghost cities are a result of China growing super fast. In this video, we're gonna take you on a virtual trip to these ghost cities, learn how they happened, and what's next. Welcome to Superstructures. Let's dive in. Ghost cities in China are a mixed bag, and info about them is kinda rare. Researchers have found about 50 of these places, and they go by different names like development areas, new areas, or eco-cities. Most of them are in the outskirts of second and third tier cities in China. Some are all done and ready, but others got left hanging during construction. You can find many copies of London, Paris, and European-style villages, but not many people live there. Instead, they're great spots for wedding pics or movie scenes. China has around 687 cities, and about 29% of the entire country's GDP comes from real estate. But lately, the Chinese real estate market has been in the news thanks to a giant $300 billion debt problem from Evergrande. That's not the only big issue, though. A new report says about 20% of the total urban houses in China are empty. That's roughly 65 million homes. Some places like Tiandu Chang, Famestown, and Binhai are huge, but they have more empty houses than filled ones. These ghost cities in China are impressively built with the roads and public spaces. In the past, investing in real estate was a sure thing in China. The government even encouraged it because the real estate market, with its ever-rising prices, boosted the country's wealth and household incomes. The Chinese government also raked in billions from land sales and the property market. Here's why this is important. In China, the constitution says all the land is owned by the state. So when developers want to build, they have to lease the land from the government, usually through local land auctions. For years, the Chinese housing market was like a hot air balloon, always going up. So developers went all in, building more and more. But now, there's not as much demand for these new places. A few things cost this, like houses becoming unaffordable for many, the population getting older, and slower population growth. Here's a staggering fact. China builds over 10 million new homes each year, far exceeding the approximately 3 million homes built in Europe and the United States combined. But there's a twist. Many Chinese people already own property, so they aren't buying these new homes to live in. They see them as investments. This buying frenzy has added to the vast number of vacant properties in China's real estate market. One of China's famous ghost cities is Tiandu Chang, often referred to as the Paris of China. Located approximately two hours west of Shanghai, this city was designed to be a miniature Paris. Complete with a 300-foot-tall Eiffel Tower, grey Parisian-style facades, cobblestone streets, and Renaissance fountains. Despite being built to house 10,000 people, by 2013, Tiandu Chang had only 2,000 residents, earning its ghost town reputation. However, recent reports indicate that the city's population has grown, with more than 30,000 people now calling Tiandu Chang home, and it appears to be on the upswing. One more notable ghost city is Ordos, situated in the Inner Mongolian region. The Kangbashi district, part of the city of Ordos, was designed to accommodate 300,000 residents. However, for many years, it had a population of only around 2,000 people, giving it an eerie post-apocalyptic ambience. This ghost city has even been featured in a renowned photo series called Ordos, A Failed Utopia, and Unborn Cities. In recent years, the Chinese government has reportedly relocated some of the nation's top educational institutions, including schools and universities, to Kangbashi. Because regulations require parents who wish to send their children to these schools to own a home within the district, Ordos has seen an influx of new residents. Many students and their families are now moving to Ardos in pursuit of quality education. Tangwei Town, often referred to as the abandoned Switzerland of China, is another famous ghost city. This town was built with the aim of attracting tourists by replicating the architectural designs from streets and houses in Switzerland and Italy. Located in the Chaoyang district of Beijing, Tanghui Town is not a town in the traditional sense but an area resembling a European-style bar street. It features various European-style restaurants, watchtowers, bars, and other structures. 
Regrettably, due to a lack of interest from the public, the town never managed to become popular. Following this trend, like an estimated 1,600 other theme parks in China that didn't succeed, most of the buildings in Tonghui Town were left abandoned. Now let's talk about Thames Town, often affectionately referred to as Shanghai's London. Located just 24.8 miles from Shanghai in the Songjian district of China, Thames Town was built in 2006. It's one of the few places in Asia where you can experience the charm of London, complete with iconic red telephone booths, English-style buildings, and statues of famous characters like Harry Potter and James Bond. This London-inspired neighborhood boasts cobblestone streets, a village green, Edwardian townhome with neat hedges, and white stucco Victorian terraces. There's even a mock two-door pub, a fish and chip shop, and various commercial and residential properties, although most of them currently sit vacant. The creation of Thamestown cost a staggering $330 million and took three years to complete. At first, Properties in Thamestown were selling rapidly, but many were purchased as investment properties and remained unoccupied. Eventually, the restaurants closed, and the entire area transformed into a hub of vacant property investment. Another notable ghost city is Yujiapu, often referred to as the empty Manhattan of the Binhai region. Yujiapu is part of a planned economic district, along with Xiang Luowan, designed to serve as a new economic hub in North China. These regions boast extensive infrastructure, including government headquarters, shopping malls, and towering skyscrapers, all essential for supporting a rapidly growing economy. However, despite over a decade passing since their construction was completed, both Yujiapu and Xiang Luowan still have occupancy rates so low that they've earned the ghost town label. These are some of the fundamental questions that remain unanswered regarding China's ghost cities. The prevalence of underpopulated cities in the midst of China's ongoing urbanization is a paradox. The nation's new initiatives, focusing on pandemic recovery and environmental sustainability, may play a pivotal role in redefining urban planning standards and offering hope for these cities' futures. The future of urban planning in China is a complex and evolving landscape. Experts in Chinese urban development stress the importance of understanding two key factors. Why these houses were constructed and why people invest in them. Often, new urban projects are initiated by local governments. Local officials, who typically serve for two to five years before being transferred to Beijing, seek to demonstrate economic growth and development during their tenure to bolster their record. Private developers also join in, driven by the insatiable demand for new properties. Ghost city property buyers are usually middle- and upper-class citizens seeking secondary or tertiary properties for investment purposes. Chinese property investment significantly differs from the American approach. Chinese households across income levels tend to save more. However, due to strict investment regulations, many turn to real estate. Additionally, Chinese families commonly purchase additional properties to secure assets for future generations. Property tax is not a common practice in China, which provides little incentive for property owners to rent out these spaces. The risk of renting to problematic tenants further discourages owners from leasing their properties. Many of these units remain unfurnished throughout their ownership. In 2020, the total value of China's housing market exceeded $52 trillion, overshadowing the U.S. bond market. Despite these staggering figures, the housing values in underpopulated cities often underperform. If a ghost city never garners the anticipated attention, homeowners risk substantial losses on their investments. Meanwhile, local governments are left grappling with the lasting consequences of draining resources to maintain these empty cities. Which one of these intriguing ghost cities caught your attention? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Super Structures, give us a thumbs up, share this video, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. That's a wrap for today. Thanks for tuning in.